Hi guys, so here's a clicker training tip for you for today. One of the most important things about clicker training is getting the timing of the click right because the click marks the behavior that we want to reward. So sometimes I see people doing the clicker training and they've got the clicker on like a lanyard around their neck or they've got the clicker attached to the bum bag rather than on a string on their wrist. Now, I much prefer to have the clicker on a string on my wrist because it makes it so much easier for me to just grab the clicker and click it when I want to mark a behavior. If I've got to reach up and find the thing around my neck or even reach down and, and get the thing on my bag, then that won't be effective if I'm sort of holding my hand out on a rope or something, then I have to reach down and, and grab the bag. So we want to make sure that our timing is as good as possible. Now, none of us are perfect. We just do the best we can. But ideally, we try to mark the behavior while it's actually happening. And to do that, we want to make it as easy as possible for ourselves to get the timing right. And one thing I find is having the length of the string uh, the right length is really important. So we want the length of the string the same length as your thumb so that when you reach down you can immediately grab the clicker and you could even just practice just doing that. So, so something else that's important is when the clicker is hanging on your wrist the length of the string. If the string is too short then you have to sort of scrunch your fingers up to get to the button or if the string is too long then you have to reel the clicker in before you can click it. Both of those things will slow down your timing that little bit which means that you won't mark the exact moment of the behavior. And something else is when you have the clicker hanging around the wrong way so instead of having it with the button towards your thumb you might have it hanging like that and then that way every time you grab it you have to turn it around before you can click it rope together <clears throat> and just hold it like that so it doesn't interfere with you know you can still use your hands or whatever but you've got that clicker ready that way you know when you ask for something that you might think you want to click for then you can just slide your thumb across and okay that's all for me today and happy clicker training